All right, everyone, Cowboy Trade, so welcome back to the channel for another update on the S&P 500. This is just going to be a quick mini update discussing what's currently happening with the corporate insiders transaction ratio. S&P 500 insiders are currently selling their stocks and securities at extremely elevated levels for the third time in the past year. We'll look at what's previously fared for the equity markets once these corporate insiders start to sell. Uh, but like I said, this is just going to be a quick mini update focusing on these two charts over here before later on today we will put out an extensive video talking about the likelihood of a US recession and is this already confirmed so like I said let's dive right into this chart this is the corporate insider transaction ratio we've discussed this previously on the channel in fact we made a video about this two months ago you can see two months ago when we made this video when we are looking at this chart there was a major spike in the insider transaction ratio back in April of 2022 so when we are looking at this chart right now you can see this is no longer on the screen but we have marked this with these vertical lines showing you whenever these vertical lines appear this is when corporate insiders are selling their stocks in the equity markets so why is this important and why would we track this well first of all we need to know what the insider transaction ratio is this shows us when corporate insiders are selling their stocks or securities so what is a corporate insider this is either an officer a director or an owner of a company and with this they have to report whenever they are buying or selling their stocks and securities for example if you you are the owner of Apple if you're a director of Apple or if you're an officer at Apple and let's say for example we're coming into a equity market earnings season let's say the, a lot of the people in the markets are expecting your Apple stock to go up in price because they're expecting you to have a positive earning season. So people start buying up Apple stock in anticipation that you're going to have a positive earning season. But you may be a corporate insider. You may have information on the sales of the company that have already been disclosed to yourself. And you may be looking at the markets rallying at this moment in time, people buying up their favorite S&P 500 shares, expecting for a positive earning season to come. But as you have inside information, you may know that you're actually going to have a negative EPS that's earnings per share so for example the markets may think that you're going to have a bullish earnings season and they might push the price of your stock up because of that but as an insider you know otherwise you know that maybe you're going to have a bearish earnings per share and subsequently you might sell your shares into the open market before we do have that earnings season this is why we have charts like this the insider transaction ratio because corporate insiders have to disclose whenever they are buying or selling their own stocks or securities this is why it's called the insider transaction ratio they have insider information on what is happening within their own stock so when we look at this chart like we discussed there was a spike back in april of 2022 uh, we discussed this in this video two months ago insiders are selling their stocks if we also come over to the chart right now you can see these three spikes with this most recent one coming into april of 2023 literally right now they are selling so let's look at the weekly time frame for the s p 500 and see what What's previously happened uh, with these sales well you can see that corporate insiders sold at the beginning of April they didn't catch the exact top in the markets back in April of 2022 but they pretty much called the exact top and once they sold their stocks and securities after we had this massive massive rally uh, what happened the markets broke down about 21% you can then see the markets went on another rally to the upside they broke back down and as they pumped back up you saw corporate insiders starting to sell once again they didn't catch the exact local top over here what they did do is pretty much time the top within one week and the markets broke back down to the downside about a little bit more than 14 percent we then proceeded to rally all the way up to january of 2023 you can see this massive rally from october of 2022 all the way up to late january of 2023 and they beautifully timed the exact top in the markets you can see they absolutely sold into to this late January if we are looking at this chart right here you can once again see late January they pretty much sold the exact top and the markets continued to break down about another nine percent since then now uh, if we are looking putting a horizontal ray over the last time the insiders were starting to sell you can see that we are still putting in lower highs from that peak in early January and corporate insiders have taken it upon themselves to start heavily 
heavily selling into the markets at this moment in time. So do corporate insiders know something we don't? Do they know a little bit more information about the next FOMC meeting? Do they have insider information on what's going to be happening with the Fed? Or are they just looking at their own balance sheets? Are they looking at their own stocks? Are they looking at their own earnings before we have that earnings season finish? And are they saying, hey, you know, we're probably going to start breaking back down to the downside. We don't know exactly why they are selling. Of course, all we can do is look at the insider transaction ratio. We can't speak to these insiders individually but what we can do is look at previous times when they have started to sell at these elevated levels and it has always caused a major capitulation of at least nine percent in the S&P 500. You can imagine if you're trading the cryptocurrency markets if the S&P 500 drops even nine percent or if it drops how it previously did you know 20 percent 15 percent drops to the downside we may see a absolute explosion to the downside uh, for your cryptocurrency market. So that's really all I wanted to talk about. I will also just briefly, briefly show you uh, this very quick chart. So you can also kind of pair the insider transaction ratio with some analysis. You can see at this moment in time, if we draw a trend line from the October lows, we are currently facing a major area of resistance. This is what corporate insiders are currently selling into. This was support, this was support, this was support, flip resistance, and we are hugging this trend line right now as resistance. If we come over to this chart over here, we've been tracking this five wave symmetrical triangle for our Elliott wave theory chart. You can see we had a bearish five wave into a A, B, C, D, E. This is a five wave asymmetrical triangle and in a falling market as you can clearly see we had a bearish five wave into this five wave asymmetrical triangle this is typically a continuation pattern which would be predicting now we're at this major area of resistance that we should start breaking back down to the downside and you can also see this major spike right here on wave uh, on wave c you can see this spike here coming up to wave E. If we're looking at this chart over here, you can see this is exactly where corporate insiders sold here. This is where they sold here. And also they sold right here, right around here. Uh, I believe they missed it by one yeah they missed it by one week on the 5th of september so it was right here so you can previously see even if corporate insiders aren't looking at elliott wave theory which i doubt they are they are still selling these rallies back into the market and this beautifully lines up with resistance that we are facing from many many fronts on the market if you're not the biggest fan on elliott wave theory if you prefer to look at trend lines just look at this as an asymmetrical triangle we are running into resistance right here and from the uptrending line of support that we have quite recently lost you are also running into resistance here so like i said that's all i've got just wanted to give a quick update the corporate insider transaction ratio has not failed us so far and yeah it's not looking too good right now as insiders are selling their stocks and securities that's all i've got for you for this video my friends uh, as always if you do enjoy my content let me know down below by leaving a like and a comment share the videos with your friends if you want to further support the channel feel free to click the join button and become a member today if you want to follow me over on twitter make sure to head over to at 618 underscore cowboy but i'll leave it here it's been your boy cowboy trades i'm out peace